Hi friends, good morning. It's around 7.30 in the morning. The sun is just coming up. I'm in uh, Las Vegas here at the, I'll turn around and show you the sign. It's called Edenville Memorial Park. Now I've also seen it referred to as just Bunkers Edenville. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. Now, there's two people that I want to visit here today. I just found one of them. She's laid to rest right here. She was an actress, a model, an author. She wrote the book, My First 2000 Men. Quite a character. And the reason uh, she got my attention was because I remember uh, seeing her in a movie back in the 1970s, a John Waters movie called Desperate Living. Did any of you see that movie? Are any of you uh, John Waters uh, fans? If so, then you know the movie is pretty outrageous, and I think she was probably pretty outrageous in life as well. Now, the other person I was hoping to visit this morning, if you can see right back there, that's the uh, mausoleum. It's right in the center of the cemetery. The cemetery just really is one big uh, loop that goes around behind the mausoleum and then back to the front gate which is right uh, right there. So Harry James, I don't know how many of you are fans of big band music. When I was a kid, I hung around with my grandfather a lot and he loved big band music. He always had big band music playing. You know, I grew up in the 60s with the Beatles and the Stones and big band music for me, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. Well now, as an adult, I love big band music. Yeah, now that I'm my grandfather's age, when he was listening to big band music, I listen to it, I love it, and it brings back lots of good memories of my grandfather, so it's more nostalgic now. But it's actually really good music, I just couldn't appreciate it when I was uh, 10 years old. He actually gave Frank Sinatra his start. A very young Frank Sinatra debuted with the Harry James Band, and they remained friends, I believe, for their entire life, and I read that when Harry James died, that Frank Sinatra gave the eulogy here in Las Vegas. It's a very small mausoleum, and Harry James's crypt is very easy to find. So let's go take a look. And if you're curious about the music playing in the background, it's called 1940s Slow Dance by Doug Maxwell Media Right Productions. And it's copyright free music provided by YouTube to be used in vlogs like this. So thank you, Doug Maxwell and YouTube. I'm visiting his final resting place for my grandfather for my late grandfather, who was a huge fan. And if he were alive today, I'm sure this is somewhere he would want to visit as well. So are any of you fans of big band music or Harry James? I've got my glasses on because even though I'm inside in this mausoleum, it's very bright. There's a lot of glare and it's very early in the morning. I just got up, so <laughs> I've got my, uh, got my glasses on in case you were wondering. For those of you who would like to see what the rest of the cemetery looks like, I'll drive around the loop and show you. As I mentioned, it's a very small cemetery and just has one street that loops around the mausoleum. And in case you're not familiar with Harry James, he was a trumpeter and a band leader from the 1940s until the 1980s. According to his Wikipedia page, he appeared in dozens of radio programs, TV shows, and movies and had more than 200 singles. Nine of his songs reached number one 32 of them were in the top 10, and 70 were in the top 100. His hits included songs like, I've Heard That Song Before, I'm Beginning to See the Light, It's Been a Long, Long Time, and You'll Never Know. He was also married to actress Betty Grable from 1943 to 1965. James was diagnosed with cancer and died in Las Vegas, Nevada, July 5th, 1983, at the age of 67. I still hear his music almost every day on the radio on 107.3 Mod FM. And I'm pretty sure you can listen to this oldies channel 
anywhere in the world online at 1073modfm.com. And I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to Amanda Brewer for visiting the gravesite of actress Lucille Benson and sending me this photo to share on this video. According to her Find a Gray Memorial page, she appeared on such television shows as Bonanza, The Andy Griffith Show, The Waltons, The Dukes of Hazard, Emergency, and Alice. Benson died on February 17, 1984 at the age of 69 and is buried in Scottsboro, Alabama at Cedar Hill Cemetery. I also want to thank Dwight Lilly for sending me these photos of Art Bell's final resting place in Prompt, Nevada. Some of you might remember that last year I visited Grandview Cemetery in Prompt, Nevada and took a picture of Art Bell's headstone, but it hadn't been placed yet. It was there at the cemetery, but it hadn't been placed at his grave. Dwight stopped by the cemetery a couple of weeks ago to confirm that Art Bell's headstone has now been placed at his grave and he's next to his wife in the Garden of Faith section. So thanks Amanda and Dwight for taking the time to send me these photos to share with everyone. So if you're a fan of big band music, Harry James, or Liz Renee, and you enjoyed this uh, video today, please uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. You can do that down below. And I'll hope to see you on my next uh, road trip to the past.